Hey, hey, ladies and gents, Tony in the studio today talking about mini tripods. I think that having a mini tripod in your kit is something extremely valuable. Here's the thing, they don't take up much room and when you need them, uh, man, they come in handy. I used one just the other day on a job at MW Engineers. I had to get on a conference table and my regular tripod was just too tall. Now, if you've seen my past videos or listened to the podcast, you know how I feel about center columns. So I don't have center columns on my tripod, which means I can get down pretty low, but the problem is the legs get too wide to be on most surfaces. So that's when I break out the mini tripod. There's a bunch of different options, really right stuff. Um, Manfrotto probably makes one. Kirk makes one, it's just a little plate. It's a ground pod or something like that. It doesn't matter what you use. This is a cheap one. This is a Sunway Photo T1A20. We'll put a link in the description down below. And if you're planning on buying one of these, please use the link in the description it helps the channel out, helps me out, gives us a little kickback, helps us pay for the time to do these videos, helps to pay for our camera guys, all of that stuff. So, you know, just click the link and buy it that way. Uh, but Sunway Photo is basically a rip off of really right stuff, but for a fraction of the cost. The thing's built like a tank. Uh, the cool thing about this one is that it's got reversible legs. The side I have now is a rubber feet. The other side are pointy spikes. So depending on the type of uh, surface that you're using a tripod on. The other cool thing about about this one is that you can basically take it flat. You just press the levers here and these legs come out and basically lay down flat. So you can get really, really low with this tripod, which can be extremely helpful. Think of a situation if you're in a house and you're backed up all the way against a counter or something and you need to get just a little bit further back, you can put this up on a countertop and it will fit with your camera between the counter and the upper cabinets. Whereas a regular tripod may not fit in a spot like that, for example. Sitting on top of this guy, a little overkill. I have an Arca Swiss level 60 head. This is a little over 500 bucks for the head, which is like five times the cost of the legs here. I had it already in the studio, so I threw it on here. It's nice and small, fits good. You don't have to have an expensive head on here. I do have a link in the description for this. This is basically a mini version of my cube head, my Arca Swiss cube head, which is outrageously expensive at 1600 something dollars. But uh, this is a smaller version of that and it does the job great. It's got two uh, planes of pan on it, which are perfect because you can level it out and then still pan after you've already leveled the head without screwing up your leveling. So um, really cool little head, but it, they are expensive. You can put any cheap head on a little tripod like this. The point is just to have something small that you can keep in your bag that won't take up a lot of space that you have that can save the day if you need it. We could dive a lot deeper into tripods today, but for now, that's just the tip.